In the shadow of an increasingly volatile European security landscape, Italy's Veicolo Blindato Medio Freccia Armored Fighting Vehicle Program stands as a cornerstone of its military modernization, a deliberate and calculated stride toward maintaining relevance in NATO's evolving strategic framework. As of August 2025, the Italian Army's commitment to upgrading its medium brigades with the VBM Plus and the emergent VBM 30 new generation platforms underscores a broader ambition to forge a force capable of navigating the complexities of hybrid warfare, digital battlefields, and regional instability. This program, rooted in the legacy of the Frescia, is not merely a procurement exercise, but a reflection of Italy's geopolitical resolve. Balancing industrial ambition with operational necessity in an era where armored capabilities must contend with drones, cyber threats, and peer adversaries. The VBM Freccia, introduced in 2008, marked a significant departure from the Cold War era M113 variants, VCC-1, VCC-2, and M106 mortar carriers that once defined Italy's mechanized forces. Deployed in Afghanistan, the Freccia's 8x8 wheeled configuration armed with a 25mm hit-fist turret, proved its mettle in expeditionary operations. Yet by the late 2010s, obsolescence loomed as adversaries fielded advanced anti-armor systems and unmanned platforms. The Italian Ministry of Defense, through its 2021-2023 defense planning document, recognized the need for a mid-life upgrade to sustain the Freccia's relevance. The VBM Plus program, initiated in 2021, began this transformation, boosting the platform's engine from 550 to 660 horsepower and integrating initial digital enhancements. However, it is the December 2024 contract for 76 VBM Plus vehicles, signed by the Ivaco Oto Malera Consortium with the Direzione Armamenti Terrestri, that signals a pivotal escalation in ambition. This 3 billion euros deal, encompassing 60 combat variants, 16 anti-tank variants with dual spike LR2 missile launchers, and an undisclosed number of 10 Schwag 10 rescue and recovery vehicles, is set to equip the second medium brigade with deliveries slated between 2025 and 2035. The contract scope, which includes integrated logistics support, reflects a holistic approach to sustaining operational readiness across Italy's Pinarolo and Iosta brigades. The VBM-30NG, unveiled in 2025, represents the zenith of this modernization effort. This next-generation platform transcends incremental upgrades, embodying a philosophical shift toward modularity, lethality, and digital integration. Its 720-horsepower engine leveraging common rail technology, not only enhances mobility, but lays the groundwork for future hybrid electric propulsion and acknowledgement of sustainability's growing role in military design. The redesigned hull, derived from the Centauro II and Vecolo Blindado Amphibio, increases gross vehicle weight to 35 tons, improving survivability against improvised explosive devices and anti-tank threats. Protection is further bolstered by enhanced ballistic and anti-mine armor, achieving at least one level higher than Stanig 569 standards. The Leonardo Hitfist turret, now equipped with a 30mm X-gun capable of firing airburst munitions, addresses the rising threat of drones, while anti-tank variants integrate Spike LR2 missiles for extended range engagements. These upgrades are not mere technical flourishes, they are a response to the battlefield's evolving demands, where precision and adaptability are paramount. The VBM-30NG's digital architecture is equally transformative. Equipped with Leonardo's C2DN EVO command and control system, the platform integrates seamlessly with NATO's generic vehicle architecture, ensuring interoperability with allied forces. The inclusion of the SDR VQ-1 4-channel radio Harris ANPRC-152A and Galileo PRS satellite navigation, supporting dual GPS Galileo operation, 
positions the VBM as a node in the digital battlefield, capable of real-time data sharing and situational awareness. New optics, including Janus D and Lothar SD, enhance crew visibility, while the simplified hull geometry facilitates maintenance in austere environments. These advancements reflect Italy's recognition that modern warfare demands not only kinetic power, but also informational dominance, a lesson drawn from recent conflicts where networked operations have proven decisive. The industrial dimension of the VBM program underscores Italy's strategic calculus. The CIO, comprising of Echo Defense Vehicles and Leonardo, leverages decades of expertise from the Frescia and Centauro II programs. The partnership ensures that production remains a national endeavor, with hulls constructed from scratch to streamline maintenance and reduce life cycle costs. Two VBM Plus prototypes, currently in testing, validate these upgrades, paving the way for the VBM 30NG's full-scale production by 2029. The program's ambition extends beyond the immediate contract, with plans for 300 Freccia Evo vehicles including 120 reconnaissance variants to complement the 330 Freccia units already delivered. By 2035, the Italian Army aims to field 630 VBM platforms, a testament to its commitment to sustaining a robust, medium-armored capability. Yet this modernization is not without challenges. Integrating the VBM 30NG with existing Freccia units requires careful logistical planning to avoid operational disparities across brigades. The Italian defense budget, constrained below NATO's 2% GDP target, places pressure on the program's 3 billion euros annual allocation, particularly as Italy simultaneously pursues the 16 billion euros army armored combat system for tracked vehicles and upgrades to the Ariete main battle tank. Geopolitically, Italy's reliance on European partnerships, evident in its collaboration with Rheinmetall on the A2CS and potential involvement in the Franco-German main ground combat system, reflects a delicate balance between national sovereignty and collective defense. The VBM program's alignment with NATO standards ensures interoperability, but also ties Italy's strategic posture to the alliance's broader objectives particularly encountering regional threats in Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean. As Italy navigates these complexities, the VBM program stands as a microcosm of its military and political aspirations. The transition from the Frescia to the VBM 30NG is more than a technical evolution. It is a statement of intent, a commitment to project power in an era of uncertainty. By investing in platforms that blend mobility, lethality, and digital prowess, Italy is not merely upgrading its armored forces, but redefining its role on the global stage. The VBM 30SG, with its advanced systems and modular design, is poised to serve as the backbone of Italy's medium brigades for decades, ensuring that its army remains a credible partner in NATO and a guardian of regional stability. As deliveries commence in 2025, the program's success will hinge on Italy's ability to balance ambition with pragmatism, a challenge that will define its military legacy in the years to come.